Hello you guys, it's Dennis here for Delight Science Graphics and welcome back to another video. So a few days ago, I made this flyer that has been trending and people are really asking me how it was achieved. So actually in this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process how it was achieved. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So if this is your first time here and you want to level up your graphic design skills, consider subscribing and leave a like on this video if you like this video and make sure you comment your thoughts about this video on the comment box below and share this video to other graphic designers who may find this video helpful and that is if this video is helpful to you. So let's jump straight into the video. So these are the resources I'll be using for this design and I'm going to link it on the description box below so you can download it and follow along this tutorial so let's go to corel draw so once you open up your corel draw and you create a new document this is what you get all you have to do next is to set your size to the size you want to work with and then we are designing an e flyer so we are going to set our size to five by five inches make sure your unit is at inches if you can't do that you can always click on your unit and set your unit to any size you want so i'll leave it at inches and make sure it's five by five inches that's actually the size i use for my e flyer and then i'm going to click on my rectangle tool and create a shape just like this and make sure the shape is also five by five inches okay so this is it you press p on your keyboard to place it at the printable area of your design and that is it so you right click and set outline color to take off the outline make sure you right click here to set that done okay that is it so next thing we are going to do is to give it a black background and then i'm designing with rg because this flyer is not going to be printed so i'm going to use rg you click on the black and you get this black background and then i'm going to bring in this background which i'll be using for this design so people have been asking me questions a lot about this uh image now i use freepik to get my stock images and there are varieties of websites i use to get stock images not just freepik and being that i'm this type of designer that likes working with stock images so i use stock images a lot for my design and i'm going to link up a video on websites i used to get my uh, images it's actually one of the oldest video on this channel so i'm going to link it up on the description box below then you click on it and watch the video then you can get a list of websites uh you can use to get stock images just like this one so all you have to do is to download the stock image and then treat the stock image to fit what you want because i use photoshop to treat my images then take it to corel draw and do the rest of the design so then i'm going to bring in this image uh this image to the background enlarge it a little let's see how it looks it looks very cool and it looks very nice all i'm going to do now is to uh right click on the image and click on power clip inside and click on the shape so the uh, image goes inside the power clip all you want to do next is to press alt on your keyboard and click on the image and set it to this particular direction and this looks perfect this looks cool and very nice and then i'm going to click on my transparency tool and remember the image is still selected when you press alt on your keyboard and select an image it is still selected inside the power clip okay so then i'm going to uh, click on my fountain transparency to get this transparency effect here remember it follows a specific rule and that is black height and white reveals just as you can see how black here hides this side and reveals this side so i'm going to bring the black down here and the white reveals this other side make sure you press shift on your keyboard so you stay at a straight line just like this so when you press shift on your keyboard you control your transparency to be on a straight line just like this then you leave it just this way then the background blends with the black color perfectly next thing i'm going to do is to treat this background because i actually want it to become somehow dark and sharper so i'm going to click on effects click on adjust and click on tune and once you do that it opens up this dialog box then you have to set this just like this bring this down here 
and take this upward a little so you see how the effect pops up better and better than before okay you can set it perfectly just like this and fine so what this tone curve does is it makes the darker part of your image even darker than before and makes the brighter part more brighter than before depending on how you adjust it so you take this angle down and take this other angle upwards and that is when the darker part becomes darker and the brighter part becomes brighter than before that's what i use tone curve to do and then you click on okay once you are done and okay with that so next thing i'm going to do is to type in the focal point for this flyer now i'm breaking down this uh design process how i design my uh flyers i don't just uh, wake up and start putting out a uh, write-up on, on my flyer i structure everything accordingly i first of all design my focal point because that is where the creative aspect of the flyer is and that is where you use to attract your target audience so i'm going to do that next you click on your uh text to and type this now one of the goals of my videos or my tutorials designs i do on this channel is not just for you to copy the exact design i do but to use the idea i share to replicate it and do other designs even better than what i'm doing here so it might not be this same concept but you get the idea to use it and do other designs you would like to do in future okay so let's do this okay the the rise of an army so all i'm going to do is to represent this text uh in such an appealing way that it's uh going to be nice to the eye so you press ctrl k to break the text apart and then there are two particular words that are very very that need to be very very outstanding and that is rice and army these other words are just words that are joining every other word together so i'm going to make rice and army outstanding so for that i'm going to select rice and select army and change the uh typeface to a strike now many people ask me a lot about this typeface i use here it's actually a strike okay so you can use that as well a strike and that is it then i'm going to bring it here and take it closer a little you can centralize that select all and press c to centralize but then i need uh to adjust this again and place it here. then i'm going to bring in uh the rice and this is what i did i used a nexa bold nexa bold for this cool but it's not that bold so i'm going to open it up and select here and select nexa bold and that is cool then i'm going to bring off and and break it just this way with the shape tool you can close the line spacing there and adjust it a little like this this looks cool then i'm going to create a shape like this cool and uh, using my shape to hold here and create this curve just like this and leave it with a white color first press ctrl page down to send it to the back and then you can contrast this press shift and do this to contrast that and close it up okay fine can we do this again then click again and hold here and shift it to this angle to get this slanted uh, effect just like this so next thing i'm going to do is to create a shape here just like this click on your uh, rectangle tool and create this shape like this and make it slanted you click again to get this curve so you hold here and take it to this direction to give it this slanted effect just like this okay that's fine then you bring uh, there to here and press ctrl page up to bring it to the top and place it just like this and this looks very cool and very nice then i can make it slanted as well click on the text and slant it to this direction so it fits the shape there that looks cool and very nice so you can click on this white shape press shift and select rise and you get this option so you click on weld to weld it like that then you can select uh the text and give it white shape so it white color so it comes out just like that then you can increase army a little and this looks cool 
and take it closer a little. That looks perfect. And then next thing I'm going to do is to uh, give it the colors it deserves. You know, all this uh, arrangement, it's going to be very nice if I give it its uh, best color. So you select rice and select army and press Ctrl G to group. And reason why I had to group this is because I want the um, I want the text to get the same color gradient so i'm going to give it yellow color and then fill it with uh click on your interactive field tool and fill it with red and this looks cool then i'm going to double click on the center of this line to create another color here you give it yellow and then you click on this extreme color here and give it red so this is what we get then you can adjust it this way can adjust that because I need more of the yellow and not the red. So this aspect looks like uh, orange and this aspect also looks like orange as well. So this is what we get and I'm going to click on this white shape and give it a uh, yellow color then you can fill it with white. Using your interactive field to you fill it with white just like this and then you click on this text and give it red color and that looks perfect and cool and nice. So next thing we are going to do is to uh, duplicate everything here. Then I'm going to select all. Then deselect off and and deselect there because I wouldn't like to work with that. Then you click and drag and make it uh, overlap just like this to this direction, just the way you see it. Because I want to duplicate. Then when you click and drag, you right click before you leave. To duplicate and give it um you give it a yellow color so this is what you get you press ctrl page down to send it to the back then at this point we are making the effect come alive okay so next thing i'm going to do is to open up my resources and bring in this particular background which i used here it looks like a kind of m4 so i'm going to click and get this curve so you rotate it just like this Okay. press control on your keyboard to get a perfect rotation just like this and this is it so you can reduce it to fit the text because i have to power clip this inside the text okay so you right click and click on power clip inside and click on the text so it goes inside the text itself you press alt on your keyboard and click to select the uh, background inside the text and adjust it this way so this is what you get so you click on your transparency tool and click on match mode and click on multiply so this is what multiply does multiply makes the darker part of your uh, background to pop and the lighter part of your background to uh, blend with the background itself it's the match mode that has been embedded inside color draw so this is what it actually does then if you want this background to come out alive a little than this you can click on effects click on uh, adjust remember i'm still selecting the background so the effects affect only the background inside the power clip so you can reduce the gamma just like this to bring it out alive this way and it looks very cool and nice so with this we are good to go you select all and press ctrl g and bring it to the design then you can adjust it this way and it blends so well with uh, the design. Place it just here, and that looks very cool. Press Shift on your keyboard and select the background. And press C, and this looks very cool and nice. So then I'm going to click on my shadow tool and drop shadow just like this. Drop a shadow just like this, and adjust the shadow. And make sure it's actually 100%, and your faders 10. That looks perfect then you can change the shadow color to red so you click here and click on red so we have red color behind the shadow and that looks very perfect and cool and nice so then i'm going to uh do the next by clicking on my text tool and type here team so i've been able to design my focal point and that looks perfect so you bring uh make sure your text your font is a uh, nasal bold the typeface is nasal bold and bring here give it white and place it just down here but it seems it not it's not really uh visible so i'm going to make the reverse the case press shift and select your background and press c so it's okay here you can make this at least 10 points 
and that looks perfect so i'm going to create a shape here okay white uh give it white color and and make sure you uh click on your shape too and create these curves like this click on effect click on blur and gaussian blur to get this blur effect like this. you can adjust the blur so it becomes even blurry than that so you press ctrl page down to send it to the back and that looks cool and nice then you can give this red color just like that and it looks perfect you can adjust that again so it won't be bad okay why i had to do that was because i want to create contrast here so the thing can be visible because if i leave it the way it was it will uh, contract it, it it will not be uh, visible on the background so all i'm trying to do is to make sure there is a contrast in between them so it will be visible on the background there so that looks very perfect and and nice so next thing i'm going to do here is to type the anticipate okay that looks cool and change this to laser bold and then uh, adjust this this way using your shape tool you adjust the uh tracking okay and place it here give it white color and make sure it's um nine points perfect press shift on your keyboard and select the shape and press c and that looks cool next thing i'm going to type here is the stretch and then you can observe in the flyer i had to stretch the r and that is i watch a video i watch a video of uh, one of my best graphic designer I, I i love this guy so much he's actually very good and that's satori graphics he once uh, talked about typography trends and one of the trends is this type of text which i'm going to do here and that is because as a graphic designer you need to listen and follow up design trends so you can stay up to date that's just what i do i try to stay up to date so i press ctrl key on my keyboard to break this text apart just like what you can see here and select all and shift this press ctrl on your keyboard so you remain on a straight line like this and shift this to this side then you click on r and press ctrl q then you click on your shape tool and select all the nodes we have here just on this other side without selecting this side then you hold one of the nodes press shift on your keyboard to remain on a straight line and stretch the R just like that so that's the concept about the stretch then same thing to E I'm going to bring E closer remember I'm pressing control on my keyboard so I can stay on a straight line press control Q to curve the font as well using your shape tool you select this aspect and stretch the E as well then this can come closer just like that so that is the concept behind this stretch okay that's how I got the uh, the stretch so it actually fits uh, the uh, it actually fits the, the word itself stretch that uh, that's why I had to stretch the R so give it yellow color uh, okay i'm going to give you this rgb yellow so it shines so perfectly you can reduce this again so it won't uh, look too big there press shift and select your shape and press c to centralize and then i'm going to type um campus invasion cool using the same typeface you know corel draw 2021 picks the previous type that was done it works actually like illustrator and that looks very perfect so if you're not using corel draw 2021 then do your best to do that because it's very cool but then i observe i don't have enough space left here so all i'm going to do is to open up uh my background and select this and bring it down a little so i get enough space but with that i'm going to convert this to bitmap rgb and then so with this i'm going to create a shape and uh, click on my rectangle tool and create a shape just like this and when you create this shape let me take off the color click here to take off the color and give it an outline so this is what i'm going to do here i've done this before in my previous uh tutorial so you get the technique press shift and select the image here and click on intersect when you do intersect it 
duplicate the background on the aspect you selected with the shape so i'm going to delete all of these shapes so this is what we get we get this particular aspect so i'm going to take that upwards to fill up the space there so that is what i was able to do click on finish to finish editing the part so you see now i have enough space here for other write-ups to follow so i'm going to select this and bring it down way down a little this looks cool and really nice you can reduce this again so you still have enough space for every other stuff and that looks cool and nice so i'm going to type the last uh one click on my text tool and type this you type um num d as Let me know down in the comments if you are a student of this school because you might be a student of this school and watching then if you are a student of this school then get ready because you are going to attend this conference okay okay um bring it here and change the typeface to nexable because that's the typeface we have been using for the throughout the design try to be consistent with your uh, typeface i'm going to leave it here that looks cool and nice fine i'm going to make it nine point or ten points better and i try to centralize everything i put on this flyer so it's going to be perfect and nice then i'm going to bring in the logo here just down here i'm going to bring it and place it here fine this looks cool and nice just place it somewhere here and that looks okay then i'm going to bring in this other image as well and place it here to balance up the whole stuff i'm going to using my transparency tool i'm going to make that transparency convert that to bitmap and do the same here again and convert that to bitmap and do the same here on this other side again and convert that to bitmap as well then i'm going to power clip inside the shape as well right click and click on power clip inside and click on the shape and it goes inside the back this is where the image is but that's not where i'm going to place the image so i'm going to press alt on my keyboard and select the image and bring it to this direction then adjust it this way open it up again i think that looks perfect and nice so it creates a kind of balance between this image and the logo so you click on your transparency tool and click on uniform transparency to blend it into the background so it won't look too shiny just there that looks cool and looks very nice as well but then if you look at this aspect of the flyer there is no good contrast there so i'm going to bring in a black shadow just there create a shape and give it a black color and right click to take off the outline click on effects click on blur and gaussian blur so you get this blurry effect just like this yeah, just the blur effect up to at least uh, 60 uh, pixels. Okay, and that looks cool. So you press Ctrl page down to send it to the back, and, and that is what we get. It looks very cool. You click on your transparency tool and click on uniform transparency, so it goes, uh, it blends with the background itself. You can adjust transparency to 40 uh percent and that looks cool but then if you watch very well you see that this shadow extends outside our main design so i'm going to click on the shadow effect click on press ctrl x to cut and click on our shape click on edit and click ctrl v to paste then you click on finish to finish editing that then you see the contrast there becomes even perfect than before then let's do the finishing touches so we get off here uh, i'm going to bring in this light i've been using in my designs and people talk about it a lot now let me tell you how i do this i get this light by searching lens flare on google and it gives me a lot of lens flare i download them into my pc and then when i want to place them on my then remember lens flare should come with a black background if it's not dark then you can make it dark and then 
I'm going to use the match mode screen. And when you do that, this what the screen does is that it makes the lighter part of your background to become even brighter than before and make the darker parts to disappear. So you click on your transparency tool, click on your match mode, and click on screen. So this is what you get. It's very simple and very nice. So you bring it just here and place it at the center between um, rice and army. You place it there and that looks very perfect. You can adjust it this way. That looks perfect and nice. Then you click on this and do the same process. Click on your transparency tool, click on match mode and click on screen. It does the same stuff. So you reduce it this way and place it here. Very cool. You can reduce it again. Very cool. You click and drag to this. Sorry, uh, that was a mistake by me. Okay, okay, I'm got it. Click and drag and right click here to duplicate and reduce it again and place it here. That looks cool and nice as well. You click and drag to this other direction and enlarge it here, and that looks perfect as well. This looks very cool and very nice so then it's almost getting to the end of the design i'm going to show you one secret tip of what i've been doing to get um to make my designs look as if it's rough but it's not actually rough let me show you this technique but before then i'm going to copy this last um write-up which i've already done and just paste it here by just pasting it here i'm going to select this and bring it down so I um, reduced it a little and I think this looks perfect. Looks perfect and very cool. So let me show you what I actually do to get the rough look on my flyer. So I'm going to select just my background and convert the background to bitmap. But my just my advice before you do this, I prefer you duplicate your design so you won't uh, uh change everything in your design because if you send this design to your client your client may like to make some corrections so before you do this you have to be sure that your client has accepted the design or to be at the safe site you just do this process copy the whole design and create a new uh work uh space you create a new page and paste it here. then you can do the effect on this particular page so you still have the original here and this other page has the one you want to put this noise effect. so you click on just the background alone and then you click on bitmap convert to bitmap and rgb and that looks perfect then you click on effects click on noise and add noise so i will zoom in so you see how it has this noisy effect just like this but it's actually too much so i'm going to release and make sure your noise is set to uniform and that looks cool then make sure everything is actually um at least it should be 40 and 40 percent so this looks even better let me zoom in so you see how it looks uh, i think i need to increase this so you see how the noise effect looks on the background you see how it looks it looks very perfect okay so this is just the whole design let's see how it looks like boom so this is the final look of the design thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video and special thanks to all our channel members you guys are so amazing i love you guys so much click on any of the videos on your screen if you like to watch more tutorials on flyer designs just like this one or you like to learn more about Corel Draw, click on any of the videos on your screen i'll see you guys next time